has been declared our month of rest and it is my prayer that every one of us will have this experience in the name of Jesus. This month we answer to its name in our lives in the name of Jesus. Tonight I'll be sharing with us on what I titled Foundation for Divine Rest. Foundation for Divine Rest. It is on this foundation that we will begin to build this month by God's grace. If there is a time to talk about rest, particularly
troubles and problems are confronted and handled with absolute peace. Is a state of existence where troubles So 
somehow, somehow, troubles will come, problems will come. When was that? I think, was it Saturday? I quickly came to church to see someone. And I was driving back home. Oh, I saw the gas station that they were selling uh, for there. So I decided to just branch. Put on the trafficking light. Just to negotiate all I had. Ha! The bike man. So I stepped out of the car. So my major concern was the car I drove that day was not my own. It was my wife's car. So I stepped out of the car. I was like, goodness, for how? And I saw the man on the Okada with corn. Elderly man. It was corn he was eating. He didn't see anything. So if you know how to drive, what about the other people? If you know how to live in such a way as to avoid problems, as to avoid troubles, what about the people you are living with? That's why he said, in this world, as long as you are in this world, if you are not looking for trouble, trouble will look for you. But there is a provision of the peace of God that guarantees rest. That guarantees rest. They ask God's servant, Bishop David Bishop, Bishop. Is it that you don't see trouble? Is it that problem does not come? He said, maybe they came. I was not aware. Maybe they came. I was not aware. Why? Because that man has tapped in into the provisions of the peace of God that guarantees rest. In the midst of this unrest, I am trusting God that you and I will be blessed with the abundance of the peace of God that we guarantee our rest. I told one of my sons yesterday, he said, Daddy, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. He said, I thought to the point that they took me to the hospital. I said, you better don't die. I said, you better don't die. Don't die. You know, David says something. He said, this day, I have become the king. What I fought for, all of my life, the breakthrough I fought for all of my life. He said, this day, I finally got the breakthrough. He said, but there is no strength in me again. In other words, don't get to a point where because of something, you lose your health and the breakthrough eventually come and you can't enjoy it again. You fought so hard and fought so hard and fought so hard you fought so hard and then somehow because you could not access this provision of divine rest eventually you got the breakthrough financially now they are telling you there is high blood pressure there is diabetes now they have to select the food you will eat now you have to use the money you got as the breakthrough to start buying drugs don't get to that point. And that's why we are looking at this subject of rest. Almost everybody in the world today is in search of rest. 
almost everybody. Look at Nigeria as a case study. For the bandits to get liver to the point that they came on here and they were saying we are looking for our president. They just, even the president is looking for rest. And now I think I'm happy. What they cost, they are beginning to heat out of it. Everybody, I'm telling you, everybody is looking for rest. Everybody. Listen, the reason why armed robbers are robbing is because they are looking for rest. Just that they are looking for it in the wrong way. Everybody. The greatest bishop on earth today is looking for rest. But the challenge is, people don't know where and how to find that rest. There is the question of where and there is the question of how. And that is the big question that we need to answer in order to find rest. One thing stands very clear. You can't find rest in this world. very clear. Well, I don't mean to say that as long as you are living, I'm, I mean to say you can't find the rest in any system of the world. Because every system of the world is built to fail. Every system in the world is built to fail. Have you not discovered When they build a system to tackle a problem, the system they build creates another problem. That's how it is. That's why you take some drug, it tells you the side effects of the drug. The drug was meant to solve a problem, but the drug could create another problem. of God because of 
the simplicity of the gospel. You know, we are looking for something very big. As if something very big is what we guarantee our rest. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will do what? And I will give you rest. He said, Come unto me. Listen to me. You can't find rest anywhere else except in Christ. That's why they said a man that is not in Christ is in crisis. There is no rest in any system of the world. We can only find rest in Christ. Let me have. Have you discovered that each time we come together as a body to church, there is one kind of rest that we both enjoy? Unfortunately, you see, people are going through issues. People are going through troubles. And it is church they will decide not to come. somebody, why, why are you not in church? He said, this, ha, ah, this problem, this problem, this problem. When you stayed at home, did anything solve the problem? But there is a possibility of the fact that when you come to church, you can meet God and the problem is solved. That's why he said, come! Come! Don't sit at home. Come. You see, it's time we... Uh, you see, what is happening today in the world? It's time we come together. <laughs> it's time we come together. Oh. Under a corporate anointing. Under a corporate grace. And it's time to come to Christ. If you are in doubt whether you are in Christ or not, you better say to it. There is unrest everywhere. And in fact, the unrest is gradually turning human beings to beasts. I'm telling you. The other day I read a young man, I think I think they said he's 17, if I remember very well. The girlfriend came to visit him. And he killed a dog. Dog a hole in his room. Two rooms over. Dug a hole and buried the girl there and cover it and he's still living in the house. He said, if you have trouble, <laughs> if you are heavy laden, if there is no rest in your he said, Come to Christ. He said, Come unto me. Come. Come, come unto me. And if you come unto me, I guarantee you, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. You see, the one that is the custodian of rest is the one that is telling us, come, I have it in abundance. I will give you rest. rest in 
you. And we find rest each time we come together as a body. We find rest. I don't know about you, it has happened to me many times that I have some burdens in my heart and I come to service before we are done. Sometimes in the midst of the praise, it's lifted. Sometimes just a word, it's lifted. So we find rest in Christ. Let's look at verse 29. If you have ERV, ERV, can you give me ERV of that same scripture? Start from verse 28. ERV. We have answered the question of where to find rest. Now let's try to answer the question of how. He said, Come to me, all of you who are tired from this heavy body. Heavy body you have been forced to carry. It's not a body you want to carry, but they force you to carry it. They've been forcing us now to carry it. He said, I will give you rest. Verse 29. He said, accept my teaching. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Accept my teachings. Because inside my teaching is where you will find rest. Inside my word is your rest. Accept my teachings. Sit down with my word. Because inside that word is my rest. Abyss your rest. Hear this. The way of the world is the way of rest. The way of the word of God is the way of rest. Jeremiah 6, 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the cross. No. Let's read. Okay. Thus say the law. Stand ye in the ways. In the ways. The ways of God. He's the, uh, the ways of God are the words of God. He's the word of God. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the whole part. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your soul when you locate the way when you locate the word and you walk in the word and you apply the word he said then you shall find rest for your soul then you shall find rest for your soul that's why somebody like Bishop Oedipo could say maybe problems came and I was not aware because they were working, they are men that work in the world, not in the world. Because in the world, there will be tribulations. But in the world, there is rest. And what does the word say? Hebrew chapter 4. Verse 1 to 3. Let's read. Hebrew chapter 4. Verse 1 to 3. Let us therefore fear. That, that fear there is not something scary. Reference. No, it's reference. Lest a promise be left us of entering into 
is rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. There is a promise of rest for you as a child of God. For me as a child of God, there is a promise of rest for us. And it's admonishing us that there's a way to walk in so that we will not miss that promise of rest. He said, for unto us was the gospel preached. The word again, unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. The word preached, the word of God did not profit them. Not be mixed with faith in them that heard it. They don't have any faith, so the word did not profit them. They didn't believe in the word, so the word did not profit them. And verse 3, he said, For we which have believed, we which have believed do enter into rest as he said as I have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into my rest although the works were finished from the foundation of the heart now listen to me if you must enter into rest you must believe in the word he said, we which have believed in the word has entered into rest. You see, some of us, we believe the news more than the scripture. That is where the problem is. We believe Jesus more than the scripture. And he said, you see, the only set of people that we enter into the arrest are the people that believe in the world as against what the world and the news is saying. The foundation of rest, of divine rest, is your absolute belief unshakable belief in the sure word of God. Or better say, in the settled word of God. You know Psalm 119 verse 89. He said, thy word, O Lord, is settled in heaven. Now listen. The way to live a settled life is to believe in the settled word. The way to live a settled life in the midst of this unrest is to believe on the settled word of God. There is a settled word as far as, as, far as your destiny is concerned. You see, as far as your finances is concerned, there is a settled word. As far as your marriage is concerned, there is a settled word. It is settled. See, it is settled in heaven. It is your belief system that will make it established, that will establish it on earth. It is settled. He said, he said, he said they couldn't enter into rest because they couldn't believe. He said, those who have believed, they have entered into their rest. Look at that. He said, that scripture. Look at that scripture. Verse 3. Is God blessing someone? Look at that scripture. Verse 3. Hebrew 4, verse 3. Look at that. He said, take note of this. He said, although the works, look at that, although the works were what? I can't hear you. What? Were what? Is it present tense or past tense? Although the works were finished from the foundations of the earth. Now listen to me. Everything about the fulfillment of your destiny did it before he created you. He finished everything. 
everything about your joy, everything about your success, everything about the fulfillment of your destiny, everything about your breakthrough, you see, he finished them. He finished them. He's only waiting for you to believe it so that it can be established on earth. That's why he said, those that believe enter into the arrest because what they entered into is the finished work of Christ. It's the finished work of Christ. Look at Isaiah chapter 7 verse 9. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 9. Look at that scripture. Although the works were finished from the foundations of the heart. You see, your, your prosperity mandate was finished from the foundation of the heart. Your destiny, the fulfillment of your destiny. That's why you have no reason to be, to, to be fearful. That's why I said, don't fear what they fear. Because there's something special about you.
I am not a successful pastor because of the size of the church I pastor now. I am a successful pastor because it has been settled in heaven. All I need to do is to believe it. And that's why I end to my rest. And when I believe it, it becomes established. You see, my prosperity was settled a long time ago before I started earning. That's why you don't, you see, no matter what they are fearful of, no matter what they are afraid of, because of this, your belief system, you are settled in Christ. You have absolute rest. Let me ask you. <laughs> when the battle between what you are seeing and what is written is confronting you, what do you believe? Which one do you believe? When what you are seeing is in a great conflict with what is written, please internalize what I'm teaching you today. When what you are seeing, you are seeing it. is in a great conflict with what is written. What do you believe? What do you believe? Somebody also said, send 1,000. Pickings. 
61,000. Which caters for whatever it is. You see, when you are confused, you see, when what is happening does not correlate with what is written, what do you believe, sir? When what you are feeling in your body is not in alignment with what is written, which one do you believe? That is what determines your rest. I don't envy people. I don't fight. I don't whatever. Why? Because I just believe my destiny is set to and God will not subject it to the debate of men. I just believe it. I discover now. There was something that God told me many years ago. Some of you, if you, if I say, if you, you can, you can remember if you follow me. Really, it was one of the statements that liberated me from agitations and tensions and concerns and the rest of it like that. God told me that day. He said, see, son, I finished working before the devil started working. I finished everything before the devil started attempting to do anything. So if it is your destiny, if it's about your destiny, it is settled. Okay, lose. It is settled. The challenge is we don't believe. He said, those that believe, they will enter into their rest. You know, you know what God called the word of God? Let me show you. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. You will understand. What he calls the word of God that we have. Leku shakapa katazatoria. Now, listen to me. That you have not yet given back to a child does not. You see, believe it. Anyhow, anyhow, you give back. Yeah, that's it. I'm telling you. That it has not happened does not mean it's never going to happen. Yes, somehow, just believe it. It will happen. You see, the moment you enter into that belief system, you enter rest. Many years ago, I shared with a woman. Well, I don't know where the inspiration came from. In fact, it wasn't what I studied. As as I was counseling the woman, I just uh, it just came out of me. I just told the woman. I said, if goats that don't know how to pray give birth, then nothing can stop your child birth. Nothing. Goats that doesn't know how to fast, they don't fa goat fast. Goat fast. Pray. I said, if they give birth, I said, you will give birth. Nothing will stop. And the woman told me, he said, I just entered. I said, I just, I just believed that word. It didn't happen that year. The following year, she gave birth. No, no, the following year, she conceived. It wasn't that year. The following year, she conceived. And then the year, whatever, she gave birth. But she said, that's what she heard was what kept her. She said, she heard on that word. See, the moment something goes wrong with your belief system, something will go wrong in your life. That's why you start looking for substitute. You start running around. You lose your, lose your joy. You lose your rest. You start running around because it is not settled in you. See, man, man. Let dollar 
shall be 2,000. I am going to be massively rich. I'm telling you. Do you know that some people did not build house when they were selling cement? 250,000, 2,500. They built their house when they were selling 7,500. I mean, 7,000. 4,000. I'm even helping them to. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. And you know, let me tell us, sometimes we say we believe, but we don't believe. Remember that man? Is it Mark chapter 9 now? God said, if you believe, if you believe, the man said, yes, I believe, but help my own belief. The question is, how do you believe? And you are still praying, help my own belief. Don't say you believe what you don't believe. If you don't believe, tell I don't I I'm, I'm finding it hard to believe. But listen to me. When you find one scripture, two scriptures, three scriptures, <laughs> you can find about three, four, five words of God about that matter. Ah. Many of the things we have done in this church and we are doing in this church is is on the frequency of our belief system. I'm telling you, some of the things we are doing is not is not is not near the financial state of this church. Or not, not the financial state, the financial income at the level of tight and offering. Though. We needed water. Water to do that massive. I think by now, I think the, the number of cement, they have, the number of blocks they have been able to make now is running close to 4,000. So can you imagine the number of water to make that that 4,000 blocks positive, that 3,007 or whatever now. Can you imagine the water? When they, when they gave me the calculation of the amount of water needed, I said, oh, Jesus. Oh, let's, let's step in. I think they said we needed, we, we needed to buy a tank. They gave me the cost of a tank. As I was shaking there and saying to God in my heart, God, you know you own this project. One of my sons said, somebody kept a tank with me. Well, I think we can use it. Why not? We're doing that. And somebody said, let's talk to a man very close to the place. He has water. And we went. Spoke to the man. The man said, I'll give you my water. In fact, we were not, we are not, there was a day we were not, we are, we were not there. The man was calling us. Give us the, give me, where is the pipe? Let me help you pump the water. If, you see, if you consider what you are seeing, you will never make a move in your life. You will never succeed anywhere in life. You will never enter into rest anywhere in life.
this will confront you to shake what you believe. Stand on what you believe. I refuse to doubt. The Bible says, he said, they limited the God of Israel. Your own belief is limiting God. I said, I want to show you. Look at 2 Peter 1.19 and then I will share one more scripture and we will close. He said, we have also a what? Church, I want you to read it. Don't worry. Look up, look up, look up. We have also what? A more sure word of what? Listen to me. Don't look for prophecy in the mouth of anyone. You have a more sure, Bible calls it a more sure. If I declare a prophecy, there is something better than that in the world. You don't understand. Do you understand? No matter how great that man is, if he declares any prophecy, there is a more sure word of prophecy. Bible said that, that word is sure. When they say something is sure, it's sure. That is, it can't fail. Terms can fail. The word cannot fail. Systems can fail. The word cannot fail. It's a more sure word. A more sure word. of pro See, sometimes I carry my Bible and I'm, I'm looking at the prophecy. But I'm saying, he said, it is in the volumes of it is written of me. In that Bible, there is a prophecy that is meant for you. It's meant for you. It's, it's for you. And when you find it, ah, your rest is guaranteed. Simile, simile. Let it back here. There was a king, Ijegubo. This man, ah, Ogwan Benu Gongo, Ongaga Logo. And he said, "If it were day, who would have power?" And he has faced many things. Truly, he has faced many things that death could not catch him. Ooh. Yeah, he was traveling. Aircraft. Olumose, have you cannot go? I've forgotten his title. The plane crash. He died. He died. Ogunsuko. He died. Ogumansuko. What's the name of this Igangan guy? Igo Ukbero. <laughs> you don't know anything. See, these can fail. Bible says, but heaven and earth will pass. <laughs> but a dot of the world, a little of the world, it won't go. It can't go without fulfilling the purpose for which it was said. Why? Because it is a sure word of prophecy. There is a prophecy hanging on your life. We open up Shiri and say, believe it. But you know what? Somebody came to me on Sunday and told me, he said, ah, daddy, there's a problem, there's a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said there is a big, I said, what's the problem? Let me see how big the, what is the problem? He was, ha ha, you don't understand. Let me understand. What happened? He said, I, I slept, I dreamt, and I saw, I saw my father, my late father, he came. And when he came, he gave me bundles of money. I said, so what's the problem? He said, ah, Koda. Okay, shake up Balo Weni. It will not damn be. Shake up 
Won fun e oni o da. Ton ba re tun gba. Wa ni ah. See why is it that we find it so difficult to believe good things? But we find it easy to believe negative things. Believe the sure word of prophecy. Why are you looking for a prophet to still prophesy when you have a bigger prophecy in the scripture? Between God and man, who is more powerful? Why do you find it easy to believe men and you find it difficult to believe God? What is the Bible? The Bible is God in written form. The Bible is God in written form. So why do, why, why, why do we find it difficult? God said, this year is your year of supernatural supply. You are saying, hey, dollar, dollar, dollar. When God gave that prophecy, he factored everything that will happen. The Bible said Christ was slain before the foundation of the heart. So it wasn't after Adam and sin, after Adam and Eve committed sin that God was now thinking. God already factored their mistake in, into the equation. He said, in case these people I, I create, in case they sin, let me create Christ before I even created them. For everything to be bad. See, everything is already settled. Believe. Job chapter 5. Verse 25 and 25. We read to probably 26 or 27. Job chapter 5. Chapter 5. 25 beginning. Please, let's be quick. Every parent, I'd like you to pay attention to this. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great. Ah. You are not smart. I said, Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great. You see, it doesn't matter what you are seeing in the life of that child now. God said, he shall be great. He didn't do well in mathematics. God said he shall be great. He came last in the class. God said, son, he shall be great. There is evil in the world that every, you see, every meaningful parent, <laughs> their hearts will shake up. When you see what children are doing today. But God said, and he said, our own seed shall be great. He said, thy offspring, as the grass of the heart. How does it, you don't need to plant a grass sometime before grasses grow. In fact, you cut grasses, it still grows. Our offspring shall grow as the grass in the name of Jesus. Look at that. He said, now look at you. For you, for you. Let bandits, let them leave the forest and start walking on the streets. Kidnappers, let them start walking on the streets. He said, thou shalt come to thy grave when? 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 Is 40 full age? Is 50 full age? 60 is it full age? Uh, what, what, what is full age? Give me an idea of full age. Uh, an idea of full age. When something is full, 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 he said, Thou shalt go to thy grave. So I can't, I can't die. I can't. Like as a shock of the con comet in his season, until my season come, I can't go. Time will not permit me to show you the seasons in the scripture. In the scripture, we have about three or four seasons. We have 70. We have 80, we have 100, we have 120. So you pick one out of the two, out of the four. Now look at the next verse, verse where I'm going to stop. As God bless you. He said, look at, please look up. Give me that script. He said, lo, this. This. What I just 
just read to you. He said this. He said, we have searched it. What I just shared with you now, what I just read with you, read for you now, he said, we have searched it. And what? So it is. It is settled. We have searched it. We have experimentally we have looked at it over the years. We have observed it. And we have found it so. He now said, hear it. And know it. And know thou it for thy good. The meaning of that is, hear it. Know it for your rest. I can't die before my time. No matter what happened, my children cannot be reward. My children cannot be the last. My children, you see, no matter the evil, no matter. He said, hear it. Know it. Because it is for thy rest. Otherwise, you will never have rest. There's a scripture you need to listen. As a wife, there's a scripture you need to know that gives you rest over your husband. Otherwise, why come I your phone here with you? You just be checking phone. You just be checking phone and checking phone and checking phone. As a man, there's a scripture you will know. Huh. There's a scripture you will know. There's a scripture you will know. Ah, this woman, no go area. There's a scripture. There's a scripture that you will know he said to it. A pastor's wife came to me and said, Ha, ah. my husband, <laughs> anywhere I go, he follows. He said, When we are in the car, I dare not talk to any man. He said, We are traveling. Say, hear it, know it. What do you know that guarantees your rest? What do you know that guarantees your rest? Rise to your feet. Did God bless you? Oh my God, you didn't show me. Did you hear something tonight? Are you sure you heard something tonight? Lift up your hand, Lord. My rest is guaranteed. My divine rest is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. My divine rest is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. Please declare it. Declare it. Because one of the signs of your belief is your ability to declare. He said, we believe for we declare. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. Declare it. My divine rest is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My rest over my finances. Rest over my children. Rest over the works of my hand. Is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. 
I believe, therefore I declare in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what is happening in the nation. My rest is guaranteed. I enjoy rest every day. Every month I enjoy rest. Every time I enjoy rest. I lose not my rest anytime. In the name of Jesus. Thank you mighty God. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Lift up your offerings and declare. Lord by this offering 